Hi guys, Joe from JT Gaming here today, and we're going to be talking about the MP5K Super Machine Gun. In this video, we're going to be doing a team deathmatch high rise, uh, yet another one. Uh, yeah, the MP5K. Basically, um, I've been, I'm getting near level 70 now, and I'm thinking before I prestige, I want to try out a lot of the different guns. So I've hardly tried the submachine guns because I'm not a big fan of them. But I thought, well, I'll try them out now as we're doing high rise. So I gave it a try and I quite enjoyed it to be honest. I got quite a few multi kills. It wasn't that good of a score at the end, but it was fun. So Well I'll tell you about the MP5K, it's a it's a very good um if you like submachine guns, but also like to keep your options open to do a bit of a slightly longer range stuff then this is probably the best weapon for you because you can get some you can outgun almost every weapon at close range because of the rate of fire it's a very fast gun and especially I'm using stopping power with it that makes it even better um, also slight of hand pro uh, you need to reload it quite a lot and I think I'm using commando pro obviously because it's close forward so I want to do a bit of knifing see so yeah, a nice double kill there the only problem is you can get the ammo very quickly so you need a good secondary So yeah, you can outgun most uh, weapons at close range and you can get some quite good kills, you probably see a few at longer ranges if you crouch and take bursts. As usual I'm playing far too aggressive and I die quite a lot for just like running into someone's bullets and stuff, so sorry about that. So I'm just taking this, uh, as you know, this is one of my favourite tactics going under there to get behind them, and especially with the submachine gun. Good way to go. So yeah, that's not how you should shoot people at long range. You should fire in burst, but I did kill him, but I'm to the whole mag doing that. It might be an idea to have, if, you, if you're very good with this and you don't need stopping power, it might be a good idea to use scavenger, because you're going to need some ammo. So yeah, I think later on I'll get a triple spray, which is like the first, not the first time I got that, but, uh, yeah, not the first time I got that. This is an amazing weapon if you're into doing sprays like that. This, you can put such a high volume of fire down. And it's fairly powerful as well. Funny enough, that's how you should shoot a long range, but I didn't get a kill. So I'm just checking this out. I think there's someone on the roof here, so yeah, it's just all the tracer. So I'm going to try and blow this up. I do eventually, but I kind of die. So yeah, basically, I'm gonna be, I might do a few more of these videos. I might. Uh, I think the mini use is one I'll do. You'll see a lot of them being submachine guns, so I never really got into the submachine guns. So I'm just going to take cover here to uh, regain a bit of health. I can see someone here using Scrambler, but I think he's on the level above. By the way, what I'd like you to try and answer this. What is the purpose of Scrambler? Seriously. It's gotta be the worst perk there is. I mean it basically just tells you it tells the enemy that you're there. If you um I played once a one V one with someone and they was using Scrambler. And you knew exactly where they were. It's such a pointless perk. That was a proper ninja there. Saw some sniper fire from in there, so I'm just checking some techs in. Oh, here we go. Triple spray there. 
and then I get knifed. So yeah, the game kind of goes on like this for a while, nothing really special happens. And so the gun is, is a very good gun. As I've said, it's you can use it at range, it's powerful, good rate of fire. I'd recommend, for once, I wouldn't recommend the holographic sight with this. I prefer the holographic to red dot normally. But with a submachine gun, uh, you want a more open field of view. And I think you can get that much better with a red dot than you can with a holographic. Other than that, if you want to be stealthy, uh, silencer would be a good idea, maybe. But you're going to need more ammo. And stopping power is probably a must then, to be honest. But it's a great little running gun weapon. You can, uh, you can run up on the enemy, get some good kills. And I'm surprised. I'm kind of disappointed that I haven't used this before because it's a really good gun, I reckon. As you probably know, the MP5K, I'm a, I'm a bit of a gun nerd to be honest, the MP5K is the shortened, ver shortened version of the MP5, which was in COD 4. Uh, K meaning Kurtz, which is German for short, because this was made by Heckler and Koch in Germany. It's more of like a personal defence weapon more than an actual uh, military one but so is the P90 actually, that's a personal defence weapon as well but anyway, back to the game oh, got pwned there by the uh, akimbo models there what do you think of the akimbo models by the way uh, now because they've nerfed them and the range isn't as good, but a lot of people are still using them. And if you if you are using them, what do you think of them? Are they still a good choice to get? I mean, I'm looking forward to getting them. So it's it's so fun. As soon as you see one person in there with a model, everyone has one because everyone's just killing them and nicking them. That's an example of me just running randomly straight into the enemy. And that's it then. Um, we won the game. Not by a massive margin. Ram winning, game winning kill here. Yeah. Right then, I didn't win and I got 19 and 12. It, and one assist. I know it's not really a great score, but it's uh, it was a pretty good game. Got fun, and it certainly made me think twice about. The MP5K, I just thought, I kind of dismiss submachine guns normally, but I think this is a really good weapon. And as I said, if you like doing run and gun, short range stuff, but kind of want to do a little bit of long range stuff, this is probably a great weapon for you. And despite it being unlocking at a very early stage, it's still an amazing gun, so I'd highly recommend it. Anyway, check out our other videos, comment, rate, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the montage. If you're a subscriber, you probably have, and I keep on about it. Uh, we've just broken a thousand views, which is brilliant, and we nearly at 150 subscribers, which is amazing. So thanks, guys, for your support. Oh yeah, we've um, we've been offered by IX Gamer uh, to do, and he wants to do some America's Army 2 videos, which should be brilliant. We're just going to see how they go. We'll put a, a few up on the channel and uh, see what you guys think. See how much, how many views and stuff we get. It should bring in a new audience. And I know a lot of people have been on about me for only playing Modern Warfare 2, so uh, hopefully that means we'll be able to get some new new audience in. So anyway, I'll, I'll stop going on about it now because I've been going on ages. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching.